Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. Today I'm excited to try my second beer from Heavy Seas. The first beer I tried was American, and I was so impressed with it that I want to try like everything they make now because I was so impressed with American. This is Double Cannon, and a couple people on, on the Facebook comments had said to try Loose Cannon. Well, Loose Cannon has been sold out since I made that video, but not not been able to get it. I've tried a couple different places, everywhere it's been sold out. So, until then, we, we have some other stuff from Heavy Seas. This has their uh, standard Heavy Seas with the skull and crossbones and the pirate hat. It's kind of kind of cute and funny. Oh, very very floral and hoppy, and citrusy a little too. color is very similar to the American. That's probably because, well, I don't know. If, so this beer is a double IPA. This is the same, pretty much the same build as Loose Cannon, except all the hops have been doubled. Same malt, same malt bill, double the hop bill. It smells a lot like the American it smelled. Maybe a hair more floral. Maybe a hair sweeter too. Let's take a first sip. Wow, that is good. Let's get into some stats on this beer. 9.5% ABV. And I was a little... I was a little nervous to try this beer because it's 90 IBUs. This beer drinks like about a 60 IBU. It nowhere near the the it doesn't definitely doesn't feel like a 90 IBU beer. It's way smoother and a lot of the beers that have a higher or more complex malt bill can handle the the more hops. It, it kind of like tones it down and makes it more palatable. 1049 a six pack. I think it's fair for this. It's 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 really good. Like I mentioned, this is double the hops of Loose Cannon, and the hops that are used are Chinook hops, Simcoe, and Cascade hops. As far as malts go, there's Turo, Munich, and Caramalt malts are used in this beer. This is what I like in a beer. A little bit of complexity. I like a slightly sweet finish. This is a lot like the American it was, but just more of it. Just fuller. Slight grapefruit notes. Slightly tart grapefruit notes. This is this is good. The smell is, is really, really fantastic. Citrusy and fruity and not just citrusy, like other fruit. Almost like a fruit salad. This is another another uh, brewer that does a good job with maintaining their brand. They have this um this kind of like old English look, like old American look that I really enjoy. There's like an old map here and there's two cannons, but they're actually bottle tops that are shooting off hops that are that are bursting in air. I, I, I really enjoy this bottle. It's, it's really cool. Heavy Caesar logo on top. So they use, uh, I believe three methods of hopping a beer. There's Whirlpool, something else, and dry hopping. And that all leads to just different ways that it's hopped. This is this is good. I'm gonna rate this a four. I'm not even gonna I'm not I'm not gonna wait till the end. I'm gonna rate it now as as a four. Color, it, the, the, the color is good. It's a nice, 
orangey, amberish color. Slightly hazy in this one. The smell, if you can make your house smell like this, that'd be, that'd be, it's so good. It's so clean and fresh smelling, but like natural at the same time. I really got to try Loose Cannon now. If, um, I think I may enjoy Loose Cannon slightly more than this. Like I mentioned before, I'm not a huge IPA fan, but I am really enjoying this. Um, if this was slightly less bitter, I would enjoy it that much more. But, it, it, but I'm not going to tell you, it drinks like about a 60 to 65 IBU. It's a 90 IBU. I'm just, I mean, if you were to, you know, if I had to guess, I would never have guessed 90. And the malt really tones it down. I wonder if they make any, uh, I should really, I mean, I, I really want to try the rest of their line. Um, they're from Maryland, and I don't think we get their full line here in Florida. I think we get their, some of their year rounds and maybe, uh, you know, a, um, a special release here and there. But every time I'm at the beer store, I walk by the section where the Heavy Seas is, and I see what they have. They have a, um, there's like a, uh, there's a stout that they, they carry at Total Wine, and and there's a space for Loose Cannon, but like I said, they've been out of it since I did the American in review. I promise to keep looking because it, it, this is so good that I, I mean, I really want to try the beer that is the kind of the center of this. There's also, so there's Double Cannon, Loose Cannon, American Cannon. There's also a... I think a fruity cannon, which is more citrusy, which I would really like to try also. This is so good that if I was in Maryland, I would make an excuse to go to the brewery and, and, and sample a bunch of their stuff. That that's that's how good I feel this is. Same way about like um like two Henrys, the two Henrys Seven Mile Bridge that I just did. It's very similar to this, but this this is a notch above that. Um, not much, but it definitely is more of a beer than the Seven Mile Bridge. Like I said, not, not a lot more, but it is a little bit more. It's fuller. It's got more flavor, more different flavors, and just a bunch of different stuff that comes out of the beer. This is another one you probably don't want to drink too cold, but you don't want to let it get warm either. IPAs mean you sit on your tongue when they're too warm. I let this sit out a couple minutes out of the fridge. It's in the, you know, 53, 54 range, which is good. A couple more drops. Really looking forward to, to finding the rest of these. Just a hint of lacing, not nothing really to speak of. That was thoroughly enjoyable. So until next time, cheers.